Hello guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to my new video. So, uh, with no further ado, you, you, you can see uh, on uh, title uh, what are we going to do today. So, let's get started. I'm so excited. I love to try new things and uh, experiment with new things. So, this is whole and new things. Never used them before. So it's going to be like full face first impressions. So buckle up and let's start it. So for this beginning, I have a new primer. It's a, a NYX Total Control Drop Primer. Control Total. Blah, blah. It looks like this. And primer base. I try to find some information to tell you more about this primer, but I'm not getting anywhere, still closed. So I'm going to try to open it now. <laughs> Maybe inside here something, nothing. So I couldn't tell you anything. Oh, uh, not prime is a crime when it comes to this comfortable soft primer. It delivers a matte finish that's smoother than smooth and preps your complexion for foundation application. That's it. So, the box it looks like this and the bottle is like like drops. Uh, to total Control, I think it's the name from, uh, for NYX like foundation. So it's the same bottle look pretty much liquid inside but probably need to shake a little bit okay let's begin <laughs> so it's a drop and there we go I don't know how much product do I need to put, so I'm going to just like go uh, with the flow. I think it's enough. <laughs> so I'm going to rub it in with fingers. It's supposed to give like matte finish from the skin which is good for my skin type yeah because my skin is like normal to oily skin it has like a little bit strange smell <laughs> but I don't have like the sticky feeling you know, I am thinking about It's like smooth feeling and that's the first thing that I can tell you about this product. Next one is we're going on a foundation of course. For the foundation I have a CoverGirl a Healthy Elixir foundation with vitamins plus and cellulose sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 20. Uh, my is in number 710 I reckon this is number uh, classic ivory a lightweight full coverage makeup this formula hydrates and includes a complex SPF 20 vitamins and an active antioxidants oil free so oil free full coverage lightweight vitamins what do you want else? <laughs> what do you want more from the foundation? Yeah, so a lot of claims. Let's test it. I didn't open it. A lot of product I didn't open. <laughs> so, oh my god, I hate these stickers. Come on. Check it before you use it. And uh, the next uh, tool, 
that I'm going to use for the first time is Revlon 4-in-1 Blended Sponge. Acts as the hard to reach areas of the face. Um, excellent for blending and blotting excess makeup. Best for full coverage and blending. So, the packaging looks like this. The products look like this. Or the tool. So, it has like this flat side, this flat side, and I uh, wet it and I get it's it's a little bit too thick and too stiff and hard and usually it's a good thing <laughs> but for the sponge I think it's not so good so uh, when I I use this one all the time Abilene's and uh, I love this sponge and it's so soft and 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 I don't know it's it's different consistency and different texture and different shape is pretty much similar but everything else is different so I'm not very optimistic about this <laughs> sponge but let's give it a try yeah so I'm going to put some products on the this side as I used my Evelyn sponge I put products on the top I put products on the face and blend Oh my god, can you hear that, guys? <laughs> it's so strange. No, it's really so thick. It's really not comfortable applying its <laughs> sponge. I, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be very good for baking and especially uh, this area under, under the eye. Uh, and yeah. It's very, very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> I think this foundation isn't full coverage. And I, I think this is not a good thing for applying this foundation. So I'm going to try a little bit more, but a bit different sponge. So I'm going to use my must have sponge and put a little bit more of that foundation on my face and apply with this one. Oh yes, this is a different story. <laughs> it applies much much more better and leave the, the full coverage on my face that's much better and now I like how it's look it's look really really nice I'm impressed Like it, like it, like it. Um, stop doing that with your forehead. I hate the wrinkles. <laughs> so let's continue our experiment of today. <laughs> Next thing is. Um, concealer. For the concealer I also have like new concealer from uh, from the CoverGirl and it's Vitalist Healthy Concealer with, with vitamins E, B3 and B5. So uh, vitamins here, oh, vitamins here. It's really healthy makeup today. <laughs> so 
I'm going to try this concealer and the mine is in 775 Fair Claire. Fair Claire. So packaging look like this and the concealer look like this. So cover girl. Concealer. Oh, like with the small brush and twist off. Twist on. Twist off. Twist. <laughs> with a twist. This is usually need like half an hour to get out. Oh, here it is. Let's give it a whirl. Hi. Slide on, slide on, very easy. No particular smell. So I'm not going to like, I just apply with uh, the brush within the concealer and I'm going to try the new product is um, Napoleon uh, little sponges. They look like this and I wet it and it's a little bit grow up. So I'm going to use this one to blend under the eye blend concealer I love these sponges it's so soft it's so precise first I'm doing with the, like this small sponge <laughs> it's a little bit hard to grab it especially with my big finger but for the application it is beautiful and I really think so guys if you can like grab these sponges I, bu I bought it in um, like pharmacy and it was like on a sales like 10 bucks the package with five these little sponges black white and pink I think Love this concealer! Oh my god! Powder, concealer! Everything's so perfect! Mmm! It's really lightweight! Nice! Sorry if I blocked your view. I carry it away <laughs> with a mirror and application. And I just noticed that I don't have anything new for the setting the face. So we're going to skip this step, I'm going to do off the camera and I'll be right back. So when we finish setting everything, and I love my face at the moment, <laughs> to be honest, because it's so matte, it's so covered, it's so even, it's so... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a. Look beautiful, look snatched. Mm. I like this product. So far, so good. <laughs> so, next step is... Uh, what is next step? To return a little bit of color to this face. And I'm going to use the Honolulu by W7. It's like a dupe for Bahama Mama. I, I, I think it's something like that. Oh, I'm probably wrong, but you get a point when you see the, the, the package and look like this and, and this color is the Honolulu is this color <laughs> Go Hawaiian with this W7 bronzing face powder um, lightly brush on lightly brush on for the all year round summer look so if you want to go like bronze look you can use this product so, I'm going to use like this Revlon, 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 Revlon uh, powder brush. I use the brush to dust off the excess powder. So I'm going to use like this brush to apply the bronzer. Lightly, slightly. I like this brush. I 
I think I didn't use it before. So this is also first impression. And I like it. It's not too dense. It's not too fluffy. And now we have a color in our face. Nice. And, and because uh, it's not okay. Uh, because I don't have any blush, I'm going to use this. Uh, uh, also W7 uh, Bronze Fever Golden Glow Compact. It's it's uh, it's supposed to be like a bronzer. It looks like this, but it's too. I think it's too golden and too shimmery for the um, bronzer. But yeah, when you apply it, it's still shimmery. So I'm going to use this like a little bit blush. So help me God. <laughs> Just a little bit on the cheeks. A little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the nose, and a little bit on the chin. And that's it. Because we are going for that bronzing, summery, glowy look. Uh, that's it. Pretty nice. Uh, for the highlighter, at last, at last, I get the uh, this highlighter because I wanted to try this highlighter so badly, <laughs> and I never have chance to buy it, and I stumbled it a few days ago, and grab it like for the, from the shell, shelf uh, and it's a uh, Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio and this one is in um, number 100 Molten Gold of Round it's called and I think it's going to um, go well with this com uh, whole makeup look for today so I'm going to use this uh, fan brush and let's give it a whirl. Mm. Gold gold. I'm not going to put the highlighter um, too much on uh, like cheeks because we are already put the uh, bronze, this bronze, bronze fever. <laughs> so I'm going to just keep the highlighter on the high points of the cheek. And I love this highlighter. A little bit on the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, on lips of course. And we're done. Oh my god. This makeup already looks <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so, uh, next thing we're going to do the brows. For the brows, I have a Paradise Exotic Pomade from the L'Oreal. <laughs> and look like this. So, you have like a brush on the top with this protective foil. it and this one is in the number 104 brunette so I hope I get the right color <laughs> for my brow and let's give it a try and it's like similar uh, packaging like uh, Cabrao I think from the benefit so let's give it a try Ooh. Mm. We're going to make like 
so I just noticed that my camera is the or my battery to the my battery is died. So I just finished the one side of the brow and we are going to do like another one. And uh, so far I can tell you for the this eyebrow gel that it's like perfect, perfect, I love it. Brush is good, not like the best, but it's good. Maybe for the brows I would like to be like more hard. <laughs> That's the only word that I came up. So yeah, maybe a little bit harder brush because I think it's too soft for the precise strokes like when you want to like draw the um, hair and the color is really good I love uh, cold uh, brown uh, cold, uh, cold undertone with my brows because I think it suits me better love it only thing they don't have in this combination is like spoolie <laughs> and i need a spoolie so i'm going to just a little bit brush this inner part of the brows just to blend a little bit more and voila we are done <laughs> with the brows. Uh, next thing we are going to do what? We are going to do what? 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 Uh, next thing is the. I'm going to use like concealer again to instead of the eye primer. So this is going to be my eye primer. I blend with the finger good 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 and I'm going to clean a little bit under the brow I'm not fan uh, this type of the concealer but only thing I think it's good for is this job so you don't need to like use the brush and um, go in the concealer and then apply you already have in the brush the concealer if you need it just twist it and voila so that's the good side of this type of concealer Okay, next thing is I'm going to use a Kitty Cat palette from Katy Perry. I think it's a cooperation with Katy Perry, Cargill and Katy Perry, and they get with few products, uh, get out with, with a few products on the market. And one of these those products is this eyeshadow palette. Something get out. I don't know what. No mind. And it looks like this. It's like cat shape in the middle, and you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shadows with two uh, in the middle. It's count ten shadows, so it's really nice palette. And Cool Cat is the name of this palette. I think it was like one more different palette, um, so you can choose, yeah. So I'm going to use like this beautiful summery colors and do something with them. Uh, I think all the shadows is the shimmer, so we're going to do our best with that. <laughs> because we don't have obviously 
uh, matte shadow. I'm going to just use a little bit of this uh, Honolulu uh, bronzer, like to contour a little bit the eye. So I'm going to put the contour shade or bronze shade just in a crease and blend it up and forward. Do that on the other side. Beautiful. I need a clean binding brush just to get between these two colors. And voila. That's the only thing that I'm going to do with this bronzer. And we are going on uh, on uh, what color? I'm going to use first this light green color, like minty green. And I'm going to apply that color with uh, some synthetic flat brush. Uh, wow! Wow! And I'm going to apply that eyeshadow over the whole face. Uh, pigment is there, I can tell you that. But But always need to be that but. It's a little bit streaky, a little bit patchy. Obviously, when you apply with a brush. So I'm going to try with a finger. Oh, yeah, much better. So Brush definitely don't work as it should to be. Yeah. So we're going to do fingertips. Really, really nice. I love it. Cool. Ah. I'm going to use the brush a little bit just to blend the edges because I can't do that with fingers. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try this also. I mean, that's the fair, yeah? To wet a little bit the brush and apply product with a red brush to see what is going to happen. I don't think we get much pigment or much color. But yeah. I notice it's really hard to work with this eyeshadow. <laughs> I tried everything. I mean look good. Pigment is there, but it's a little bit difficult to work with it. Uh, next thing, I'm going to use uh, the pencil brush and I'm going to use this like light shadow. It's like silvery champagne eyeshadow. <coughs> and I'm going to apply this eyeshadow in, in a corner and connect with uh, this uh, bluish greenish eyeshadow and it's going to use like the inner corner highlight and brown bone highlight I think these colors like uh, like a Highlighter color <laughs> work beautiful. Mm. 
Nice. Nice. Next, I'm going to use like another color with a finger. And it's going to be um, hmm, this one, like teal green, something. And I'm going to put that color in the outer corner of the eye. And need a brush because my fingers are too big for the precise application. So I'm going to put a little bit with a brush just to blend a little bit more and a little bit better. So far, so good. I'm going to use this blue eyeshadow with uh, some smudge brush in the outer corner of the lower lash line. This blue color is have a lot of fallout and I'm going to use this uh, this one like light pinkish color to try to blend a little bit into this blue just to see what happened Nice, and in a corner, I'm going to use the this one, like some pinkish color, shimmery. Okay, okay, we are done. Maybe not just yet. The, again this pencil brush and again this lighter highlight color and just put a little bit under the eye yeah that's much better now I'm going to try this elf eyeliner gel it looks like this. It's in number TLTs. And it looks like this. It's like vibrant, some blue, co bluish color. And cream eyeliner creates precise smooth lines and gives smudge proof and water resistance coverage. So, and you get like this tiny, tiny little brush with it. So, we're going to use both of them. So, let's give it a try. I think, think only the application is a little bit hard, or the this shimmery high, uh, eyeshadow. But with a little bit patience, you can do it. Or we can do it. And voila! Look beautiful. Okay, so we're done with the eyeliner. Next thing is going to be like eye pencil for the waterline. It's all, all, it's cat. Cat Eye also, it's from Katy Perry collection, it looks like this, and the pen looks like this. So we are going to put this pen in waterline. It's not too much pigment in this product. 
it's more like on a shine side. And I don't like it. <laughs> I thought it's going to be like white white, but it's not. Uh, next step is mascara. It's going to, we are going to try the very weak and uh, very black mascara from WV7. Look like this. And the packaging, it looks like this. So let's try this product. Voila! This is the final product. <laughs> I really like it. I like how it's looking on a camera. Mm -hmm. And it's got. I saw you. Blue fantasy. What? <laughs> I like it. So let's see what we have used here. What is good? What is not so good? So uh, we start with the primer. It's okay. I mean, definitely it's not uh, like um, purpose is not like to to fulfill your pores just to prep your face for the foundation so it's really good and it's really uh, give the matte effect as it's supposed to do yeah uh, so this is okay uh, next step was uh, foundation and we used like cargo vitalist healthy elixir foundation and foundation is great 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 i set everything with cody airspan just to mention uh, but everything is beautiful uh, for the concealer beautiful concealer no, uh, like lightweight uh, it's not like crease anywhere it's not dry i don't feel dry under my eye so Beautiful concealer. Uh, next thing, uh, this uh, we are going to pass. I didn't use it like to bake because I didn't bake, just set. Uh, I'm going to try uh, like for that purpose, but still, I'm not going to use like this one for the applying make makeup, then use this one for the uh, um, baking. And uh, I can use everything with. I can do everything with this uh, this sponge, so this is for me. It's pass. Uh, next sponge is Napoleon. This small beauty blenders, and they are phenomenal. So if you can find this product still, uh, buy it. <laughs> so next thing is. It is uh, this bronzer. It's great bronzer. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's warm, but not too warm. I also use like contour color, and it's it's okay. I'm not like I mean I don't have like harsh contour in this makeup tutorial, but still visible. So great product, two in one. <laughs> The bronzing uh, fever golden glow compact well I mean it's good obviously it's good when you do like summary bronzing so you can use just this bronzer so you have like bronzing and highlighting in one so it's okay product uh, highlighter is I love it maybe it's not for my skin color <laughs> but still I can use it like eyeshadow or highlights in a corner or or, or even when you do like this this kind of bronzy um, summer look you can use it like highlight I mean is there right somewhere that I can use it on my skin type 
No. So, if you like it, go for it. <laughs> Next thing is, um, is, is, is what? Next thing is uh, the eyeshadow palette. It's nice colors, nice pigment, nice payoff. Obviously, you can see it. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to work with them and you have like lots of fallout so you can be careful or you can do like first eyes and then um, foundation but uh, overall this palette is nice I'm going to use it again definitely uh, the brow I'm not mad <laughs> maybe just a different color maybe the lighter one i think it's too dark for me but it's not like too dark on a video but in in live i think it's a little bit dark so uh i love it i love the brush i love the pigments i love the how it's look on the, uh, on the brows so yeah definitely i'm going to use it again uh, eyeliner it's beautiful the fall beautiful i don't know how i'm going to last on my eyes because i usually don't wear the eye makeup or whole makeup unfortunately too long but for the first impression i am impressed with this eyeliner so elf eyeliner in the color tlt's beautiful beautiful bluish greenish mermaid uh, <laughs> eyeliner so great 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 uh, next thing is what would we use again uh, uh, mascara mascara is very very good mascara I love it it didn't transfer anywhere I can do it like uh, lower lashes upper lashes with the same mascara and yeah nice 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 love it and use it again and uh, the next thing is what are we done uh, only thing only two things in this makeup tutorial and in this full face first impression uh, uh, products that I didn't enjoy in yeah is uh, uh, this sponge and this uh, catty cat eye white pencil uh, so yeah everything else it's good to go <laughs> so probably most of the the things that I use in this makeup tutorial I'm going to use again uh, especially eyeliner brow highlighter foundation mascara palettes <laughs> I'm probably I'm not going to use like for the whole makeup look but uh, some pieces of the I make up look I'm going to use this palette so and yeah for the lips I have used uh, Co uh, NYX Cosmic Metals it's not a new product so I didn't mention uh, I didn't film like how applying it uh, just to mention that you know if you like it it's um, number eight name is uh, speed of light so this is the lip color on my lips so i hope you like it i hope you enjoy it, uh, watching it and uh, if that's the case you know the drill subscribe share like and see you in the next video big kiss